When I first met you, I thought you were weird and annoying. And I feel the same about many anime characters. So here's a list of top 10 two-dimensional characters who, if hypothetically were harassed, things would have been better for everyone. Number 10, Brock. I know people piss shit and come from nostalgia when they think about old gen Pokemon. They love all these characters who shaped their childhood. But what most people forget is Brock actually left his eight brothers and sisters to have an adventure with this 10 year old. Like this man really abandoned his family to become the least important side character. The reason he did that is because he couldn't comprehend the how hardships his little siblings would have to go through living alone because he wasn't bullied as a kid if he was he would have known that we live in a society number nine this frog girl from MHA. Just so we are clear, I don't have any problems with other people's races, what they sexually identify as, etc. But a frog girl is where I draw a line. Because frogs, you see, are disgusting, oh, slimy creatures who lay eggs in water. Water which I need to drink to survive. And she should be bullied, fucker. Only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed so if you end up enjoying this video consider subscribing number eight kanye west this dude needs to be humbled like if you know anything about him uh he's he's essentially an american politician one time in a rally he was caught saying i need a room full of mirrors so i can be surrounded by winners Man, I have a vast knowledge of politics and let me tell you, throughout history, this kind of behavior is what causes the birth of fascist regimes. So this dude needs to be stopped before it's too late. Number 7. Trunks Gohan stepping up, becoming a badass, saying fuck off to his mother, beating Cell's ass and saving the world was one of the best moments in the show and this was possible because he was bullied as a child by Piccolo. So that did great things for his character. Trunks in Dragon Ball Super however was not able to save the world and this happened cause he spent more time choosing a sexiest jacket than training. He lived a really privileged life but if someone bullied him billions of life could have been saved. Number 6 Kazuya from Rent a Girlfriend I just think he's a masochist so he will like getting bullied and since I'm a compassionate human I want my guy to just enjoy life. Number 5 Darkness from Konosuba. She's a masochist, so she will like getting bullied. And since I'm a compass, she... since I'm deeply in love with this two dimensional character, I want her to be happy. Number four, Hanji. Hanji's a fucking sadist. And in my 54 years of life experience, I've learned that sadistic people getting what masochist people want is the key for humans to evolve as a species. Number 3 Batman Cause yeah he's an orphan but unlike real orphans who eat rats to survive this guy lived in a Dracula mansion with a British slave. What else do you want in life man? But he still thinks his childhood was sad cause he didn't get bullied and if he did then maybe he would have finally realized how stupid he is. How stupid he looks while arguing with my lord and savior joker a, a man who actually had to unfortunately experience living in a society number two <clears throat> griffith these days people feel real proud to announce that they hate griffith fuck griffith i mean don't mind if i do etc but at this point in the story he has already done some real wild shit it's easy for normal people to hate him but I hated him from the start cause I knew this guy has lived a very easy life without any bullying and the moment he will face some adversity he's gonna become a bad person and he did but if he was bullied since childhood he wouldn't 
fold that easily. All right, it is time for number one entry, and it is no one, because no one deserves to be bullied, guys. Bullying is bad. 